I had a friend who was into tech stuff and was a very smart and he was a very cool person. One day during college class he had asked me if I wanted to see something cool he found. So I said yes. After the class had finished we went to go get something to eat. And after that we went to his apartment that he was living. We watched a movie then played the PlayStation and then he told me, are you ready? We went to his room and he pulled out his laptop and then started doing some high tech stuff and then the screen went blank. Then it went to a different screen and he told me welcome to the dark web. I heard of many stuff about that place and I told him that let's not play around with that and then he told me don't worry I come here all the time he said that the just buys some drugs and cool items for the dark web and that's all then I calmed down a bit and there was a lot of cool things in the dark web like all kinds of drugs and guns and unreleased movies of all sorts we were just scrolling and the out of nowhere he got a text for a random person. He just ignored it, but the person kept on sending texts. And then my friend got tired of it and texted the person to leave him alone. The person stopped for a bit and then he just texted get out of here. Or else you will see the punishment. My friend just told me, don't worry, he's just a troll. And then my friend texted back saying, come and do something. Then the person just stopped bothering us and we just laughed it off. And went to get a quick or snack, then I just headed home. I got home and I took a shower and after that did some homework. And right before was sort of worried about what my friend told the random person. So I just texted him to check if he was okay. He texted me saying go to sleep. It was just a random person trolling us. The next morning I woke up and ate and got ready for class. I forgot my book at my friend's house, so I drove to his place. I got to his place then saw the door open, which was odd. But I just thought he went for a walk and forgot to close it. I interred and saw him laying on the floor with blood. I called the police and then they came and did what they had to do. But in the end my friend was soon dead during the drive to the hospital. The case closed with it just being a break. And enter robbery and they didn't find any clues to what had happened. This tragic event has left me scared to death. And I never want to even think about that night before his death. May he rest in peace. Story 2. A friend of mine claims he was snooping around where he didn't belong in the black market forums. And hacking forums in the dark web. Then someone private messaged him basically saying, I've looked into you because I see you in here a lot and I know you're not here to buy. Or use the services because you're just a kid. And this really scared the hell out of him. Then the person who texted my friend said, I don't mind. But others will and you haven't protected yourself well enough to be here. Get off if you know what's good for you, kid. Then my friend got out of that web and never went back. In a way, he was thankful that person told him to get off. Or else, he would have been somewhere else, right now, or even killed by those crazy people. Story 3 I think this was in 2012, or whenever the Silk Road was at its peak. 
A friend had told me he ordered some MDMA off of it and actually received the package in the mail. I had him show me how he used the program. And we spent the better part of an afternoon marveling at all the stuff you could buy. Eventually we came across someone who was selling children. The offer was you would list the characteristics of the child you want. And depending on the difficulty of acquiring that type of child, pay somewhere around 5 to 50k and have the child sent to you. There were pictures of ones he had available where they mostly naked in a dirty room. Or he could go find the certain one you wanted and take it. We turned off the computer and didn't get back on for a few days. I wish I had called the police. But we were stupid kids and scared.